welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to waiter serve style serving you your dose of fashion beauty and lifestyle i'm crystal waiters and we do all of the things over here from fashion beauty lifestyle modeling styling simply put <laughs> i'm a fashion and beauty enthusiast and if fashion and beauty is something that you love as much as i do come on girl what are you doing hit that subscribe button join the family get the content the good content <laughs> we are growing growing rapidly by the time this video is out i would have surpassed my first milestone of a thousand subscribers which i haven't hit it yet right now i'm pre-filming <laughs> i am filming today is january 19th and it is a snowstorm today so i decided to do some filming but by the time this video is posted in like mid-february we would have sub surpassed our first milestone of a thousand subscribers and i'm excited i'm excited to witness it i'm excited to share it with you guys and thank you thank you thank you to god be all of the glory i'm already preparing and standing on tiptoe expectation for it to come so with all that being said join the family follow me on all platforms that's instagram tiktok my blog we do weekly blogs now we are back y'all from <clears throat> anything um inspirational i am a christian and i do try to provide you know inspirational posts to help us on this christian journey and also tips and tricks to make sure your wardrobe is working well for you so yes follow me on all platforms please girl thank you <laughs> now we've gotten all of that out of the way let's dive into today's video and as you can see it's a good one let me roll my sleeves up girl <laughs> it's a good one <laughs> okay yes i don't care if we are in february i am still doing all of the things for 2024 we are preparing we are getting into the swing of things so today's video i am sharing my luxury wish list for 2024 now this is a bit of a different wish list um if you've been following me i did this in 2022 i believe yes 2022 and i'm actually standing in one of the items that i put on that wish list on that wish list the first item that i put was my new home and i am well in it a little over a year and to god be the glory so i don't necessarily believe in manifestation not necessarily i absolutely don't believe in manifestation i believe in god and jesus christ and i believe that god has a plan for me that is good and will prosper me and will bring me a future and a hope jeremiah 29 11 ma'am yes <laughs> um so if you are you know into manifestation that's great but here you will not hear me say that i manifested this and i got that that's not what I do. Um, I do believe that, you know, I make my plans, but God orders my steps. So that's simply what this is. I think it's fun. I think it's cute. I think it's something that we can look back on to see what it is that I actually picked up or gifted. Yes, yes, yes. We're open to gifts. <laughs> um, and see exactly how the year has unfolded watching these videos back. So we got the framework we set the foundation let's get to it <laughs> okay so first up i want to dive into luxury pieces even more yes if you've been following me you see i have scratching the surface in terms of luxury but we are going to stay within a particular price range I saw a young lady who purchased a $10,000 bag and it got ruined. And in my mind, I just could not understand or I don't know if I would have been okay with ruining a $10,000 handbag. So needless to say, I'm not saying that I wouldn't purchase a $10,000 handbag if I just had it extra laying around. However, comma, for me, in terms of luxury, it's within a certain price range. So items you may see on here, best believe they were baddie on a budget purchases. <laughs> so now that we've got in that framework, let's actually get into the video. So first, first up, 
on my luxury wish list for 2024 is a pair of Kendall Miles fur heels or a pair of her shoes in general. If you're not familiar with Kendall Miles, she is a um, shoe designer, black girl, black girl fabulousness. <laughs> um, and her fur heels in particular, the fox ones are just, if you have been following me, you know I have a thing for a fur in a shoe, especially a heel. And these, oh, <laughs> they are so gorgeous. I have heard that um, her shoes are made for women of color. Um, she stated on her interview uh, with Janae of High Low Lux on Style Unlocked that she makes her toe beds wider. So her shoes are very comfortable. And I am a heel wearer. I love heels between three and a half to no more than five inches. I love high heels. And I cannot wait to get my hands on a pair of her shoes, preferably those foxy heels. It's still the winter time, but I think they can translate into early spring, even late spring. Um, and depending on how it goes, we might get a pair of sandals as well. So <laughs> we'll see. All right, moving right along. Next up, I am on the hunt for the perfect awake mode piece. I have gotten my hands on um, their iconic awake mode circle skirt, but it's the dupe. I got it from Akira because the actual skirt is like $1,700 and no ma'am um, because the dupe is duping. It looks just like the real thing, but I, I do love their pieces. Awake Mode is a contemporary luxury brand that I just fall in love with. I like that their pieces are, you know, for fashion girls such as me. And when I say a fashion girl, not, not just a girl who loves fashion, but a girl who knows fashion, who is, you know, consumed with the fashion world that has her ear to the pulse of you know new trends and you know will take risk in terms of their looks that is what a fashion girl is and you are watching her <laughs> um but uh in terms of their pieces i will give i will take any one of them in particular i do love the circle skirt and they have a top to match but any one of their dresses their blazers I just think are so fly and so fabulous. So yes, anything from Awake Mode is on the luxury wish list. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Next up is a brand that I've actually shopped. I have I have two pieces from Frankie Shop, and I want my hands on a Frankie Shop suit. I do. I hope Frankie Shop makes <laughs> suits for tall women, but I want to get my hands on either. A oversized blazer. I'm not probably. I'm almost certain that their pants are not made for tall women, <laughs> but I do want to get my hands on their blazers and definitely, definitely their oversized coats. I love Frankie Shop. It is another contemporary mid-range um, luxury brand, meaning it's not your Alexander um, Wang prices or Bottega prices rather it's more more than Zara less than Bottega we'll say that it's like right there mid-range but I do love their pieces especially their outerwear their pieces is similar to but the thing I love about Frankie Shop they play with androgyny so well and I love an androgynous look and their coats their oversized coats are just go and they just look like they are so warm and they will last the test of time girl so yes frankie shop two things i want their suits hopefully they come in tall a um a suit a nice suit i'm not quite sure what color maybe a cream suit because i've seen uh, monica from art by Monty in a fabulous fabulous uh cream suit from them or um their coats in either black or cream fabulousness that i am just oh excited to see on me <laughs> okay moving right along okay next up 
I am on the hunt for the perfect Andrea Iyama top. If you have not watched my video on black owned brands that you need to learn and know and purchase from, please make sure you do. Andrea Iyama is a fashion designer. I believe she's from Nigeria and she has these gorgeous fan tops that are just chef's kiss. They make a statement, but still very subtle. And I want one. I want one. I don't know what color. I wish one came in blue. That would be like a royal blue. Oh, that would be, yes, that would be chef's kiss. I love her tops. I love her pieces. If you haven't checked out my um, video on black owned brands that you need to know, please, please do. Um, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. And yeah, we on to the next. Okay, next up is an LV Speedy. Yes, I have loved Louis Vuitton Speedies ever since I was a child. And I've been seeing so many on the runway, specifically since Pharrell has taken over um, LV um, menswear. He has been showcasing a lot of nice speedies. Yes. I don't want a mini one. I want a substantial size one, but not one that looks like a duffel bag. I just think it's just so cute and cool and very nostalgic. I think I would want a classic one, but I would not be opposed to getting one with color. Let me make sure I'm still, because I've seen previous videos where I'm moving back and forth and it drove me crazy. But I wanted to get my hands on a beautiful, beautiful uh, Louis Vuitton Speedy. And in particular, what's coming to my mind is a turquoise one with the um, the tan outerwear. Um, and yeah, I don't have a clue as to where I would wear it or what I would wear it with. But I know I want one. And it's on this list. All right. And we moving, on, moving right along. <laughs> okay, sticking with handbags. I want a Gucci horse fit bag. When it first came out, I first saw it, Rihanna carrying it, um, the red one with, I believe it was the silver hardware. The Gucci horse fit bag is a resurgence from Tom Ford when he was the creative director for Gucci. And anything with Tom Ford name, it just screams sophistication. It just screams just luxe. And it just screams expensive because everything with his name on it is expensive. But there are a lot of these bags on the pre-love market that are not that expensive in terms of a luxury handbag. But I want one. The red one, oh, the red one is gorgeous. But I don't know if I want a red one, a silver one, or what, what color I would gravitate. But I just love the horse bit. It's very subtle. It's very chic. And it's very, very luxe. And it's on this list, girl. We'll see if she gets it by the end of the year. Who knows? All right. On to the next. Okay. Sticking with Gucci. These mules I have looked at, I have inquired about. And they are on the list for... 2024 but i'm thinking because i have a birthday coming up my birthday is march 8th and this is going on my birthday list for items that i want and we might be getting these sooner than later i'm still in my low spin but baby when i tell you i have i've been looking at these because they put me in the mind of my jw anderson muse without the chunky chain but you know i love a mule <laughs> but I am really interested in these shoes, so I am putting these on the list. You might see these sooner than later, but they are the Gucci horse bit mules in the um, traditional canvas print. And um, the reason why I'm interested in these is because I know I will get my cost per wear out of them, and I compare them with so many things. And I have a Gucci Dionysus bag that I really want to wear, and I think with these shoes, I will pull that bag out more. But these might be coming sooner than later, girl. So um, be on the lookout. But they're on this list because I want them. I want them. Okay, next up, diving back into handbags. And I'm, I'm, I'm almost ashamed to even admit this. I 
want an Hermes Birkin. If you want to talk about handbags and luxury, Hermes is the creme de la creme when it comes to luxury. And the reason I'm saying that is because the resale value of an Hermes is just top tier. The quality is top tier versus Chanel. They have upcharged their prices, but the quality has gone down. If I buy any more Chanel pieces, they will be pre-loved or vintage. But Hermes, I want a Birkin. I am a Birkin girl versus a Kelly. A Kelly is a little too structured for me. I love a Birkin because I know I will wear that bag in the ground. Now, would I buy a new one? Not necessarily because I don't like how Hermes does the, the game. I get it. They want to make sure that their pieces are exclusive and hard to get. If you are not familiar with how Hermes works, you have to be placed on a waiting list. <laughs> and they have to call you to let you know if you're eligible to purchase the bag. No, mine will most likely be pre-loved and I'm okay with that. But I want an Hermes Birkin. 30, 25 is a little too small. If you guys know, I stand at six feet tall. I am a tall woman. Um, and I want a substantial bag. So at least the 30, but I wouldn't mind going bigger. I'm not quite sure of the color. I think I would want a navy blue. It's not a color that I see on a regular basis, but I would not be partial um to to black or you know they call it gold but it's really tan but navy blue or kelly blue ooh that would be ooh that would be nice with silver hardware oh yes yes that's on this list and it's on this list for 2024 who knows who knows all right moving right along now it's two more shoes that i have on this list and then we're going to segue into the latter portion of this list, which is a little different. But I want those silver Samba sneakers. I want them, but I don't want to pay for them. I want them to literally be a gift because I don't want to pay that much for them. There's certain things I could justify the price for, but I think those sneakers are like $500. And I, I know I wouldn't wear them as much for me to pay that much for them, but I really want them. I think they're cute. I have a pair of silver shoes that I got from Zara years ago, and I want to replace them because I've worn no silver shoes in the ground, and I know I will wear these Sambas with literally everything, but they're on the list, and I want them, and I like them, and we hoping to get them in 2024. So, <laughs> let me know what you guys think of that. Move right along. Last thing, in terms of accessories, clothes, and, and, and shoes, um are my Loewe Balloon Sandals. <gasps> when I first saw these, I screamed, I gagged, and I actually ordered them. Unfortunately, in transit, they were ruined, and I had to get a refund. But when I tell you, as soon as this low spin is over, we're going to try our hand again to get these shoes. They have been so hard to come by because I don't think they're in production anymore. But when I tell you I saw those and gagged, I just think they are the cutest, most out of, the, out of this world, outrageous shoe. Such a conversation starter. Every time I see Monroe still wear them, she just kills them. And I just be like, oh, I really want those shoes. So... I am on the hunt for those shoes, and in 2024, I think I will have them. <laughs> so, let me know what you guys think. On to the next. Okay, <clears throat> now, my last luxury item is my 750. I, <laughs> I have purchased my first BMW uh, in 2023. It's not my favorite car. I like it. I like it for someone else. I'm grateful I have a car. But the, the BMW I've always wanted, and when I tell you have always wanted, since I've driven in my aunt, my um, my godparents, my bonus parents, they used to have one. And when I tell you that thing was, I mean, it was beautiful. It was so spacious. It rides so smooth. And I just 
fell even more in love with it. And I want it. And I am on the hunt to get the one that's for me. So before I turn 40, boss, she will have it. <laughs> she will have it. So my BMW 750, it won't be brand new. And I'm all right with that. I'm done with buying brand new cars. But she will have that car sooner than later. So <laughs> on to the next. Okay. Now, the second half of this video is geared towards things that I'm believing God for in 2024. As you guys know, my social media presence has increased and I am grateful to God for it. And I'm really putting more effort into my platforms here on YouTube. I have hit the ground running in 2024. If you've noticed, I've updated my camera equipment, which I've had for years. I just haven't taken the time to figure out how to use it. But we are in the swing of things and <clears throat> we are getting the good content, the best quality content out there because I'm believing God that this will be the year that I will catapult into the stratosphere in terms of my social media presence. I want a following of a million plus and I want opportunities that will afford me the life <clears throat> lifestyle that I want, which is a soft lifestyle for myself and the persons around me. I want to be able to <clears throat> provide for my family and be able to be a blessing to those that are around me. <clears throat> I want my social media platforms to provide me with a lifestyle where I don't have to work full time. I choose to work full time and I want it to be a significant source of my income. I want to connect with brands. My first brand deal, I believe in, will be with Farfetch. <laughs> and I want to have more of a television presence. I want to do more TV. If you've been following me, you know I have been on Good Day DC for the last, since 2015. And I've been featured with my big sis, Kim Lee. Shout out to her. But I want to do more television. I love television. I love being on TV. I love the feeling that I get when I'm on TV. I want to produce my own show. I want to star in my own show as a host. Uh, I grew up in <clears throat> the 90s, early 2000s, where makeover shows were huge. And I want to create one. I want to be my host, be the host of one of waiter serve style, <laughs> which I'm believing that to be not just my platforms, but an actual television show that creates that creates looks and provides women with the confidence to <clears throat> try their hand at different things in terms of fashion. But <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not quite sure what's going on with my throat, but that is on the luxury wish list. TV, and I also want to do more acting. I had the acting bug a little bit in high school, and I want to dive back into that. And also, I want to do more hosting events, not just on television, but throughout the city in terms of Christian events, social events, my, I'm being on um, panels. Um, you guys know by trade, I am a counselor, um, and I'm currently in school to become a license and I am interested in believing God for more opportunities to speak about how good he is but as it relates to our mental health in addition to that I am also believing God for total and complete healing and freedom as it relates to my body and what I mean by that is I want this temple to be the best looking, the best fit temple of the Holy Spirit that it can be. I want to be a fitness baddies. <laughs> yes, I want to be a gym guru. I want to be in the lab. Since I started this channel, I've picked up a significant amount of weight that I'm not happy about. But I am in the process of getting back to my initial size when I started this channel. And I know it's not about numbers, but to me, there is a specific look that I enjoyed being and seeing within myself. And I want to get back to that. But I want to do it in a way by which that I feel my best and really, really utilize my body. When a body is in motion, it stays in motion. And exercise has always been the quickest and easiest way to deal with any mental health issues, to make you feel good and give you that boost of energy. 
And lastly, I want to be debt free. I want to be completely debt free, like house paid off, car paid off, any, you know, credit cards, whatever they get, completely debt free. And we are on the way to that. So, yes, those things I'm putting on my luxury wish list for 2024. So, now that we've gotten all of that out of the way, on to the next. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And comment below the things that you are wishing and hoping for in 2024. If you haven't checked out my previous videos, I think they're being shown on the side of me. Check them out, girl. We're getting better at the content. <laughs> Please make sure you follow me on all platforms at Way to Serve Style. I need your help to be able to obtain the level that I need to, 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 to be at in terms of this wish list, in terms of my goals for Way to Serve Style. I need your help. I need your help. <laughs> so hit that like button comment below when you hit the like button it throws me out into the algorithm and it's been helping me so far so thank you so please when you watch this video just hit that like button and yeah follow me again on all platforms at way to search style that's instagram tiktok my blog way to search style.com i will try to remember to link the latest blog post down below please make sure you subscribe to my blog so you can get weekly um notifications in terms of what i post and also updates on my giveaways so yes do all of the things help your girl out i love you be well be safe be blessed bye